Sea stars from Alaska to Southern California are withering and dying by the millions. Scientists are calling the epidemic sea star wasting syndrome, but they don't know what's causing it. It was first reported off the coast of Washington in June. Now it has spread south to Orange County and 70 miles off the coast of San Diego at San Clemente Island. The first thing uh, will, will happen is lesions will form. Uh, and then the lesions begin to dis actually dissolve the, the sea star. And when that begins to happen, the sea star is no longer able to hold on to rocks. Keith Lombardo is chief of natural resources for the Cabrillo National Monument in Point Loma, where an abundance of tide pools offer a window into the intertidal Pacific Ocean. If this were disease, you would see lesions, perhaps a, a leg had, would already be falling off. Lombardo is working with a team of San Diego researchers to monitor waters off San Diego. So far, there are no confirmed reports of the disease here, but Lombardo says it seems inevitable. The California current runs north to south right along the, the California coastline, so the water is being moved from north to south as it is, so the disease is probably following that current, which is why it's spreading so rapidly down the coastline. Sea stars, also known as starfish, are natural predators. They feed on mussels and clams and other intertidal species. It's an aggressive feeder, so it, you know, you remove that component of the ecosystem, uh, you're going to have all these trickle-down effects and even you know, trickle-up effects uh, to other organisms in the intertidals. Wasting syndrome has happened before, but on a much smaller and more localized scale. The last significant outbreak was in 1983 and 84. Lombardo says it was an El Nino year when the water was warm. Being that it's, it's so vast in extent, and there could be some tie-in to bigger changes like climate change. Researchers are focusing on a bacterial or viral pathogen as a possible cause, but they're not ruling out ocean acidification, low oxygen levels, and warming waters. At least 10 species of sea stars are known to be affected by the disease, but the hardest hit species is the ochre star, which is commonly found near La Jolla. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.